Hi, this is Firestarter, and this is a review of the SIC Kamen Rider O's Gatakiriba Combo. And this is one of the first exclusives for the O's line in SIC. And this is the packaging, and since this is the first exclusive, let me go through the uh, details of the box. We have Gatakiriba here. It has no windows, so uh, you can see in replacement, you can see the metals here on one side and the other. And we have the names here. And at the back, we have some poses for Gatakiriba Combo. So that's all you need to know about the box. So let's move over to the review so you will know the details of the figure. The SIC Kamen Rider O's Gatakiriba is the first exclusive release for the O's line. Unlike Tatoba, this figure is somewhat sporting a lesser SIC feature on the face that is good for first time collectors but a bit disappointing for true blue SIC addicts. There are some parts that may be taken a cue from Tatoba but still represents a unique taste. For example are the Bata legs, molded almost the same but on Gatakiriba, Bandai used a different metallic paint application against Tatoba's gradient style. Gatakiriba comes without a metal jaliber but makes up with these series of accessories and replaceable parts. First are the Kamakiri arms with moving hands and ends with a translucent green blade. Extra bigger pair of legs is included to heighten the combo even more. Switching all of these is very much standard and safe to repeat the process anytime with ease. Last on the list are 5 hands, 3 cell medals, and a translucent set of Gatakiriba chest parts. And this is Gata Kiriba Combo and we have the figure right here so let's go through the articulation points and details. We have a neck joint here and it does tilt forward but you cannot tilt it back because of the accent here at the back. And then we have shoulder articulation and the shoulder pads are independent and then um, this area here is in soft plastic so it is easy to bend the arms. So you can raise these and just force it to move upward. And then the bad thing about the arms is that you need to push the arms down first and then move or hold this thing here so you can push the arm up and then move back the arm on a default mode. And then these blades go up and down or move and we have wrist articulation and then we have an upper bicep cut here and then double jointed elbows um, waist articulation and upper torso and then we have leg articulation too and double jointed knees and then a joint on the foot and there are no hinges on the toe I think oh there's one but um, it does take time for you to move this and then um, we have the O's driver here, just like that uh, Tatoba. And then the metals are already in, but if you want to replace those, you can just take out the panel in front, and then you have the metals falling off. So be careful about the metals because once you lose them, you need to buy another, or you are forced to buy another set just to fill in these gaps here for the O's driver. And then let me just put this one back. And then we have the O scanner here. You can take this one out. Better looking than the Tatuba version. And then we have a metal holder here. And that's all you need to know about Katakiriba. Most of the exclusive releases have something in common. The ease of managing accessories. Overall, Gatakiriba belongs to one of the best looking SICs out there. There are joints that work just fine even with head replacements. But there are a few points I want to stress before you click the buy now button. Gatakiriba shares the same problem on most SIC O's figures which is the small wrists. These terribly make the arms look shorter and less proportioned to the frame. Next is the back tilt on the head. It may be a nitpick for some but a big difference for first time collectors, especially if you are used to SH figure arts. Now with all the factors in, consider these notes before making a decision. 
And that is my review of the SIC Kamen Rider O's Gata Kiriba Combo. If you want to know the possibilities and details for this figure, check out the photos at the end of the video and subscribe to my blog for the full written review. This is Far Starter. Thank you very much for watching and keep on subscribing for more toy reviews.